Oh my gosh, it's been too long. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic stealth camping adventure. We are in the city of Vaughan to eat and sleep overnight at Chick-fil-A, a brand new location. And this video is being brought to you today by Jackery. Yes, Jackery decided to reach out to me once again. This is the fourth time. Thank you very much, Jackery, for believing in KBD Productions TV. And I'll be showing you that. But I think first we need to line up uh, at this. This is crazy. Uh, I was thinking maybe this was a bad idea because as you know, a lot of people, and there's even police here. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of people trying to get into this Chick-fil-A and uh, it's gonna be probably busy until they close uh, later on tonight. Um, let's, let's try a drive-through and uh, see how long it takes to get through this drive-through because I think it's gonna be just crazy. So it looks like we have to zigzag through this parking lot to get it looks like this is the drive-through. Oh my goodness. Check this out. This is crazy. You gotta do switchbacks. <laughs> There's a huge standing lineup at the door. We might have to do like three point turns to get through. Oh, I'm gonna, am I gonna make it? Yes, I did. Heads up, you turn ahead. This is crazy. Bad idea. <laughs> I have to back up to actually make the turn. Wow. This is insane, people. Totally insane. Why am I here? Why did I do this? Because it's Chick-fil-A and they have good food. So this Chick-fil-A is now the most northern Chick-fil-A in Ontario. Uh, I'm hoping they go from here straight up to Barrie next. Uh, I think I mentioned that in the last video. Uh, they have a, a two or three in Toronto and a couple in other locations. I'm not exactly sure where all the locations are, but uh, now there's one really close to home. And it's just south of Canada's Wonderland. If you guys know where Canada's Wonderland is, it's one of our big theme parks. So it looks like after this next U-turn, it turns into two lanes over there. Um, yeah, so again, anybody turning that corner right there, they have to do a three-point turn just to get stay in the line. So when I looked at my social media this morning, the first thing I saw on Instagram was that this location is now open. I'm not sure exactly when they opened, but uh, I am here now and uh, we are gonna sleep somewhere in this parking lot. Very stealthy. This guy almost backed into me because the guy in front of him started backing up into him. This could be chaotic. Well, it is chaotic. So now I have to do a super wide turn. I think I'm gonna do that spicy deluxe. That's my favorite thing. To celebrate this brand new location, I'm gonna do one of my favorite things here at Chick-fil-A. They actually have uh, security guards here and they are directing traffic. As you can see, we are getting closer and closer just to order our food. I was actually expecting this to be way worse than it is. I'm glad it's uh, only as busy as it is. It's, uh, is it Friday? It's Friday afternoon at uh, four o'clock p.m. And uh, I don't wanna know what this place is gonna look like at 6, 6.30. After looking at all these different burgers, they've got chicken burgers, obviously. Uh, again, they have the, uh, the regular chicken sandwich, the deluxe, uh, the spicy chicken sandwich, the spicy deluxe, the grilled, and the uh, grilled chicken club. I think I am definitely gonna do the spicy deluxe, definitely waffle potato fries, and of course a peppermint chip milkshake. My turn. As you can see, the lineup is still there. Not as big of a people lineup as I thought it would be. I guess it's just too cold. It's like zero degrees out. But we are now that close. They're doing two cars at a time now on this side and one car at a time on that side. They also have heaters on the roof for to keep the employees warm in the winter time and then fans to keep them cool in the summer. Good idea. Hello. 
Welcome to Chick fil A. May I have your name, please? Ken. What do you would like to have today? I'm going to do the spicy deluxe, please. It's a combo? Uh, yes. Mm. Monterey Jack cheese or cheddar cheese? Jack. Monterey Jack would be great, okay. thank you. Which drink you would like to have? Or peppermint chip? Yep, the please? Shake. Yes. Uh, anything else? Um, I would like to do a cookie. You know what? I'm going to do your nuggets too while I'm here. I don't have to line up again. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. You want to do an eight or 12 count? Let's do the eight. Just the nuggets by itself? Uh, with that, with your Chick fil A sauce. Okay, so just eight count nugget. Any other sauces for you today? No, thank you. All right. Um, are you paying card or cash today? Uh, let's go credit. Take your payment here, it'll be 26 Perfect. Visa or a credit? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. And then you'll just follow this part um, on through to the window, okay? Thank you very much. You guys are doing a great job. Thank you. She's in training, the one girl. There's always that one person in line with their loud music. Doesn't that irk you? Let me know in the comments below if that bothers you. Bugs out. There's another little stop here for something. I'm not sure what this is. Confirming my order. Hello. Hello, may I get your name? Ken. Okay, hello Ken. You paid, right? I did. Okay, please stay in this lane and your food will be at the end. Okay, thank you. My pleasure. All right, my food will be at the end. They actually have two exit lanes and I guess somebody will walk out from the building and give people in our row their meal. And of course the people that are closest to the window will get their meal through the window. But I think it's a door. From what I remember at the last Chick-fil-A, the whole, it's not just a sliding window, it's the whole door opens up. Uh, so they can walk out and they don't have to go out through the front door like other uh, fast food places. Ingenious! Chick-fil-A, you're so clever. Hats off to the people that work in this industry. I couldn't last an hour. Walking out, give them the food. Awesome. They'll move on and we can move up. It's almost dinner time, people. Almost dinner time. Hi. Hi. Are you Mr. Ken? I am Mr. Ken. Yes, sir. So here's your food. Thank you very much. My pleasure and your milkshake. Fantastic. We hope you enjoy the meal. I will. We'll see you soon. Three people came out and uh, gave me my food. But they haven't given the food to the people in front of me, so I have to wait. But I think this gentleman was teaching the other two what to say, what to do. And uh, again, a lot of learning here. They probably have like 50 employees on right now. <laughs> All learning and teaching and good job, Chick-fil-A. You guys rock. Okay, let's eat, people. Let's eat. People Christmas shopping, people want to eat Chick-fil-A. What the heck? All right, guys, we are parked. Let's get the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? Oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've had Chick-fil-A before, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have, it smells ridiculously amazing in here. We've got our peppermint chip. We've got tons of napkins. Oh my gosh, the fries have spilt. You know what that means? Bonus fries! Over there. Holy cow. Check out those waffle fries. I think they call them waffle potato things. They gave me two Chick-fil-A sauces. One, two. We've got a cookie. We've got our deluxe spiciness. We've got our nuggies. And we got, whoa, how many, how many? They're piled on each other. One, two, three, four, five, and debris. We've got chip debris, waffle debris. Let's see if we can get those in here. Oh, they're gonna fall on the floor. Don't fall on the floor. Don't do it. I want every one of them. No floor fries. No floor fries today. Mmm. Oh, whoa. Almost lost it. Almost lost it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, going in for the extreme close-up of this amazing dinner here at Chick-fil-A Vaughn location. We've got our peppermint chip. Can't wait. We've got the whipped cream, cherry, just hanging out. We've got all of our waffle fries. We've got a dessert over here, chocolate chip yummy cookie. And over here, we've got our spicy deluxe with the Monterey Jack a bunch of nugs and over here we've got our chick-fil-a sauce i opened one and we're ready to go 
Are you ready? Please let me know in the comments below and everybody else, what is your favorite meal at Chick-fil-A? Let's eat. First up, we gotta sip that peppermint chip. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes like Christmas. That's what that tastes like. Perfect timing. Let's do a quick nug. I know they're nuggets, geez. Mm. It's almost been a year since I've had Chick-fil-A. How many times a year do you guys eat at Chick-fil-A? Once a year is not enough. Um, the breading on here is nice and salty. The chicken is fresh and juicy. Mmm, and that sauce is wonderful. Let's do more. That, that piece was shaped like a spoon. So let's fill her up. Mmm, I love their sauce. Waffle cut fries are always a nice treat. Mmm. Next up is the Spicy Deluxe. Go ahead, you can scratch it. You can sniff it, I'll wait. Okay, the rest is mine, here we go. That is one big piece of lettuce. Let's see if we can make maybe, oh, there's a pickle on the bottom, two pickles. They were hiding, hiding. Yeah, you gotta do uh, pickles with the spicy chicken for sure. Oh my gosh, it's been too long. <laughs> Oh yeah, like I said, spicy, and it is spicy, woo, crunchy on the edges and fresh on the inside there, oh, that spice is going through the roof. I don't remember it being that hot, that's hot, oh, that is one juicy piece of chicken. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mm. That chicken's phenomenal. But I gotta put it the the fire out with the peppermint chip. Um I kinda wanna finish this burger first or the sandwich. I think there's always a debate. Is it a burger? Is it a sandwich? Mm. See the crunchy edges? Listen for the crunchy edges. Not crunchy. Yet moist and juicy inside. Keep eating. Mm. That is one phenomenal chicken sandwich. I wanna do more stealth camps for you guys. I wanna do more 24 hour stealth camps as well. There is a little bit of a difference. The stealth camps are just getting there somewhat late in the afternoon, setting up camp, doing whatever we do, and then uh, heading out in the morning. So I'm kinda of looking around. We'll find something that we can do for breakfast because obviously Chick-fil-A Canada doesn't do breakfast yet. I've had Chick-fil-A breakfast in Florida I think I made a video on it too. In a red Camaro? Yeah. That is one fantastic sandwich. Last chicken nugget. Mm, so good. I highly recommend the Monterey Jack. The last bite of this amazing sandwich is a very large bite, but this is gonna be dedicated to all those amazing men and women out there who love to watch my videos at one o'clock in the morning. We don't know why you do, but you do. This huge last bite is just for you. Cheers, guys. Welcome to Vaughn. <laughs> last scrumptious waffle fry. Mmm. Now it's time for dessert. Mm, crunchy edges, pliable middle, lots of chocolate chunks. I love their cookies, fantastic. 
So what'd you think of one of my favorite combinations at Chick-fil-A? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Mmm. Time to get out and check out that Jackery. There she is. There she is. So the story goes, I really started liking stealth camping and 24 hour things. And I needed something other than the Atlas that I had. So we figured we'd buy this used 2011 uh, town and country Chrysler. And we bought this in March of 2021. And we figured out as we were experimenting with doing the stealth camping and the 24 hour stuff we discovered i needed extra power because i used to have this thing i still use it uh just for quick portable things but obviously it wouldn't charge my computer or, or my go uh sort of my uh other big batteries so uh, i decided to buy this uh, this is the jackery 500 and when i bought that it was around 600 dollars uh, I made that video and then I showed Jackery and they sent me, uh, because they liked the video, they sent me one of these solar panels. It's a 100 watt solar panel. So I was pretty happy about that. And uh, a few, uh, the next month, so this happened in June. In July, they sent me a uh, solar panel, a 100 watt solar panel. And then in July, they sent me the Jackery 1500 with four more solar panels. So I have five of the 100 watt solar panels now and a 500 and a 1500, thank you very much, Jackery. And then just within the last couple of weeks, they wanted me to show you guys the new Jackery. And this is the 1000 watt Pro right there. There it is, 1000 watt Explorer Pro. And uh, a couple of the things out of all the people that were doing uh, Jackery reviews and stuff, one of the things that people uh, complained about was the handle. You can't put stuff on top. Uh, and they corrected that with a folding down handle. And the other thing is the charging time. These take a lot of time to charge up at home when you plug them in the wall. This takes 1.8 hours to charge, which is amazing. Way to go, Jackery. Let's take this out of the box. I did open it up already, uh, just so I could charge it and have it ready for you guys. And there we go. We've got instructions, a manual. We've got a bag of stuff, a charging cable, uh, one for a DC, so you can plug it into the car and charge while you're driving. And let's open it up. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to show you. This thing is absolutely beautiful. There it is, the 1000 Pro, and you can just lift this up, and now you have this carrying handle, which is great. Fold it down when you don't want to use it, or when you want to put stuff on top, which I always want to put stuff on top. Couldn't do it with these ones. Let's turn it around. Let's look at the back. We have our plug-in to charge at home. We also have two inputs you can plug the uh, 100 watt solar panels in here uh, but if you have the 80 watt solar panels there's two adapters in here it is freezing cold people okay there is your regular cable the other thing too is the uh, 1500 came with that big huge block to uh, charge and uh, that is now built into the 1000 and the 2000 watt this is the charging cable for when we're driving Let's turn this around, check out the front. Oh, we gotta keep that handle up, right? Okay, we have over here, we have a light. Whoa, brightness, one bright, two bright, and then flashing if you wanna make yourself go nutty. There we go, and then it has a little cover so you don't break it. Over here, we have our DC out. You can plug in um, like coolers and things like that, anything DC. It's a 10, uh, 12 volt, 10 amp. We have your display on or off. Uh, another thing I love about the display nowadays, when you plug something in, it'll tell you how many watts it's pulling and how long this will last. So I plugged in that electric blanket last night and uh, let's try it now. Why not? This is what we're gonna be using to survive tonight is the electric blanket. So let's plug that into there. Yeah, we have to turn this switch on. There we go. Now we'll put this on to high. 
see how many watts that pulls. So right now it's pulling 150 watts. And again, as it heats up the blanket, the wattage will lower down. And then the hours of how long it will last will keep going up and up and up. Uh, I believe this is also rated uh, to minus nine Celsius. I think that's 14 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so over here we have two USB-Cs and it's 100 watt maximum. And then we have the regular uh, USB-A at 18 watts maximum. So you can have, I can have all my stuff charging and uh, we are good to go. So once again, Jack, we thank you very much for uh, asking me to be a part of the sale. There's gonna be a bunch of stuff in the description about Jackery and all the sales are, that are happening, uh, especially for Black Friday. Please check those out and uh, help support the channel. Got all my stealth windows up, got my lighting on. I'm plugging into this Jackery because this cable won't reach to the new Jackery. So this one fits up there quite nicely. I might just keep it there and that will be its spot to charge my phone and stuff here. And then I'll use the bigger jackeries to do other things like keep, like right now, this is so nice to sit on. It's so warm. And of course we've got the 1500 there and the 1000 watt here. And uh, over time we'll have to figure out how they're gonna play out in our uh, van life and our uh, stealth camping and stuff. So I'm just gonna put this box away. Another thing I'm gonna really enjoy about using the 1000 over the 1500 watt, uh, it is definitely lighter, smaller. Again, it looks like I can store it in more places because of the fold down handle. Uh, the other one, again, it's really heavy. Uh, moving that around a lot inside this little van. I'll probably put the uh, big Jackery in the big vehicle and I'll probably definitely keep using the 500 in here and the 1000. Uh, I look forward to using this. I hope you guys look forward to seeing me use this uh, a lot this winter. Uh, it will definitely keep this bed warm for me and keep all my batteries charged up. The Leafs play the Sabres tomorrow so I won't be able to watch hockey tonight, but I'll have to find something on Netflix or whatever. One more thing before I start watching TV. Uh, I've got my GoPro batteries plugged into the regular USB. So that's charging. My phone is charging. Uh, I have a laptop. And instead of plugging my USB-C into this and then plugging it into an AC, which would use more power, I'm gonna put it into my USB-C my USB-C and my computer. We'll see how much power it's using. So it is charging, charging, charging. And right now we're using about 33 watts of power, which is incredible. So this, if this thing was continually charging these all the time, this thing will last 12 hours uh, doing what it's doing. But of course, once this fills, once this fills and once this fills of uh, power, then this will drop down to zero or one maybe. Uh, so this thing is gonna last us a very long time. Keeping all my important gear charged. Just went outside real quick looked over there the police are still there and the lineup is still crazy at, and like i knew it was going to be it's going to be crazy until it close uh but i think we should go in there and grab maybe like a little snack before we um finally hit the hay uh i just talked to somebody over there and this is their second day and apparently there were many police officers here yesterday and making sure that people behave themselves and got the traffic through because this whole area was kind of in lockdown uh, because there were so many people trying to be the first people in Chick-fil-A. Want to get that first chicken sandwich uh, in the first day. 
but I am here on day two, which is awesome. Uh, so I didn't know that. I just knew that it was new. I didn't know how new it was. So I'm glad I'm here at least on the second day. And I'm glad I got here at four o'clock because it only took me about a half an hour to get to the line. So let's walk in, see how long it takes us to get some food. Let's go. Definitely less of a lineup now. It's all inside. A few seats inside, which is good. Lots of cars. Still a police car over there. Traffic jam. No, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, my pleasure. Got some balloons. Lots and lots of people. I think I'm gonna do the chicken soup, chicken strip, spicy, and a sunjoy. Let's do it. Yes, sir. How are you? Good, how are you? All right. Can I get a name? Uh, Ken. And is it for carryout or dining? Uh, it's carryout. Carryout? How can I help you? Uh, I'm going to do the chicken soup. Chicken soup? Yeah. Bowl or the cup? Uh, let's go bowl. The bowl? The spicy chicken strips. Three or four? Three. Three. And I'll do, uh, actually I already have one of your sauces, so I'm going to do one more sauce. You want some? I'll do one more sauce. One more? What's yeah. Um, let's go buffalo. Buffalo? We'll do a nice, uh, one of your uh, sun joys. I'm going to do an ice cream. Corner cup. Let's go cup. Is that all? That's it, thank you. Your total is going to be twenty two fifty five. Okay. You're going to give them your name at the counter and they'll you okay. up. Got it. Hello. Hi. Carrying out or dining? Uh, carry out. Okay. Thank you. This is the pickup area over here. The wait in line. Thank you. That's it. All right. Thank you. All right, tight quarters. Once again, being in the van, we got our ice cream spoon, straw for our son, Joy. We definitely want to eat some of that soup. It is chilly in the air. I'm sorry I had to be crouched over, but that's just the way it goes when you're doing videos in the van. That's too small for you. Okay, let's do a little bit of Sun Joy first. It just tastes like straight up lemonade to like a person who is blindfolded. Hey, taste this, what is it? Lemonade. Uh, I did talk to one of the other gentlemen in line and I'm saying, uh, you know, I guess you're from downtown Toronto thinking that they brought in people from other Chick-fil-A's in Ontario to teach the Canadian people. But it seems that they brought in people from the United States I should have asked him what state he's from. That would have been kind of interesting. Uh, Chick-fil-A flying people in from the United States to teach us Canadians how to serve chicken. Cheers. Mmm. Can you see that? Can you scratch that? Can you sniff it? It is. The, it's probably... It's, it, I think it is the ultimate chicken soup for any fast food joint. Oh, yeah. You're stuck on the highway, middle of winter time in a snowstorm, you see a Chick-fil-A, zip over there, grab one of these, go back, sit in your car, wait for the tow truck. It'll save your life. Chicken, noodles, carrots, celery, oh yeah. That is dynamite. <laughs> Next up. Spicy chicken strips. They are they are very very orange. They look dangerous. Okay, of course I did the. This time I thought I'd try the zesty buffalo sauce. Let's go for the biggest one. Oh, look how wiggly and jiggly that is. Ooh, wiggle it just a little bit. Okay, here we go. Buffalo zesty. Mmm. Savory. Ju juicy. 
<laughs> this is making me cough. Woo! That's strong. We got the crunchy outside. Uh -huh. Coming out of my mouth. Sorry. <laughs> oh yeah. Fresh and juicy inside. Oh, that is lovely. The uh, buffalo zesty sauce, people, is definitely a must. On top of that juicy chicken. Mm. I'm glad I only did three, but I want more. Last up, ice cream. Should have done this first, but oh yeah. It's funny, this ice cream took longer than all the other food combined by double. That's what it seemed like. Mm. And the lineup, surprisingly, only took maybe 10 minutes. They're very, very efficient in there. Mm. Very nice French vanilla flavor. Yeah, let me know if you've tried the ice cream. Let me know if you like it. It is a really nice soft serve French vanilla ice cream. And it goes down really nicely after the spicy chicken because it's still burning my mouth. Not terribly, but just enough. Well guys, it's around 8.30. I'm gonna watch uh, a movie and then hit the hay and we'll see it in the morning. Thanks to Jackery, I'm gonna stay nice and warm with this electric blanket. Good night guys. Cheers. See you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It's about 7.55 in the morning. Sun is shining, so we will do uh, check out these solar panels once we get a coffee in us. Uh, the Jackery is at 4%. So I had the, uh, again, I charged my laptop, my batteries, my phone, and then I had this running four cycles uh, I believe this, these electric blankets have like maybe a two hour limit so once it's finished it's two hour limit it shuts off I guess for safety reasons or whatever and uh, so it obviously kept me warm for two hours and then it slowly stops keeping me warm and I'm just using my summer um, sleeping bag right now and this is the last day i'm using my summer sleeping bag i'm going to tell you because once this electric blanket shuts off it gets cold right now it's minus 11 degrees celsius with the wind chill and uh so inside here it's probably minus four and i'm going to be using my winter <laughs> sleeping bag from now going forward but the electric blanket kept me warm until it shut off and uh so i'd have to find the controller because the cold would wake me up press it start it again and i kept it on medium and uh obviously it's it's drained the um the jackery so uh let's go get a coffee i'm gonna start the car first it's freaking cold Beautiful day. Nobody in the parking lot. You can get in line now. You'll be uneasy. Let's go find a coffee. Chick-fil-A is just around the corner over there. I just realized there's a McDonald's right across the street and I haven't had a McDonald's coffee in a while. Let's do it. Thank you.
Let's get this heater back going. I got my coffee, came back to the car, and just the aromas coming from McDonald's. I turned around, went right back in, and got him a griddle. I haven't had him a griddle in a while. Let's move over here. I think we should move into the sunlight. What do you think? Yep. Had to switch my GoPro back to regular wide instead of super wide. Let's eat. McDonald's getting into the Christmas spirit. When I walked in there, I walked up to the counter and the woman behind me, she's like, it's better if you order at the kiosk. They rarely come to the counter at this location. And uh, so that's what I did. So thank you very much to that wonderful lady. Mmm, you hear that crunching? Where you go, McDonald's? Woo! Nice and hot, crispy. Oh, really hot. Woo! I hate drinking out of these lids. Let me tell you, if you have to, you have to, but if you're sitting here like me, take it off. Ooh la la. The lid, that is. Okay, let's check out this McGriddle. They were pounding them together really fast. They're really quick in there. So we got our little tiny pancake McGriddles. That's funny, she put it on upside down. It should be with the M on the top, I would imagine. She did both the bottom and the top incorrectly. You gotta have the M on the top, what do you think? So we got our egg, sausage. I prefer the sausage over their bacon. The sausage just has more flavor. Oh, I haven't had this in so long. Time to start fasting tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. This is one of my favorite breakfast items at McDonald's. Leave a comment in the comment section below which is your favorite. And their coffee's pretty good too. Ooh, super hot. I'm gonna polish all this stuff up, get warm, and uh, then we'll find a nice sunny location probably back at the Chick-fil-A area and we'll set up the uh, um, solar panels, hook it up to the Jackery, see how much wattage we can get into it. I only brought two of the 100s and uh, the brand new 80s and I'll show you the difference between them. See you in a minute. It's 8.45, uh, I'm back at Chick-fil-A parking lot and they're already setting up the pylons to guide the traffic in being day three and it's a Saturday, so it's gonna be packed. All right, let's get this baby out. And uh, so that's the difference between the panels. That's the 100, that's the 80. I'm not sure why they're so much bigger, but they are, and they're made completely different. These ones have built-in handles. These ones have handles that fold for storage, which is kind of cool. I like that and then inside the bag it's a reflective material so you can reflect to the back of the solar panel I'll show you what I mean in a second it's really windy here so this might not be the best scenario comes with an extension cord and it is freezing cold my hands are barely working wow and look at this like it just doesn't want to this is probably really pliable when it's warm out but geez. Well, that's what the two solar panels look like. Again, this one has, it's almost like it's got two sides to it. So when the sun is up higher, the reflection of this hits the back of that and you get double the effect, I guess. But uh, its I think it's just way too cold for the solar panels to work because they're not 
working uh, they're not charging so I'm gonna have to do a little research maybe because it's minus 11 out uh, even though the Sun is there it's pretty low in the sky but uh, yeah let's get home Woo! oh Oh, I'm gonna sit on my hands for a second. Oh, it's so cold. Oh. So I've come to the conclusion that because it's minus 11 out, uh, the Jackery doesn't want to accept any power. So there's a test for you. I just got the solar panels yesterday, the 80 watt solar, solar Sega 80 watt. And uh, so, oh my God, give me this coffee. Oh, thank you, McDonald's. Oh, oh, my goodness. What is the temperature? It's minus four degrees outside. What is the wind chill? The wind chill is currently minus 11 degrees Celsius. There you go. So, and it's windy. So, standing outside right there. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank Jackery for sending me the uh, 1000 Pro. Really appreciate it. Appreciate the... Uh, the sponsorship and the trust in my channel and the 80 uh, watt solar panels. I can't wait to try them. I love the idea that the reflection back. Again, please check the description of this video. Uh, there's a whole bunch of deals coming up. Uh, so uh, just sign up, I guess, to their website and they'll, they'll be emailing you uh, whenever deals happen. If you're really interested in Jackery, there'll be links and stuff in the description. Uh, again, they're having a huge uh, uh, Black Friday sale and uh i'm not sure if they do they probably do it every year so don't miss out on this year's stuff especially on these the pros the pros the pro 1000 and the pro 2000 are like the ultimate power generators or solar generators anyway guys thanks for hanging out with me at chick-fil-a for a stealth camp and uh experiment with the uh jackeries and uh having a nice hot coffee in the morning to try and Cool, uh, try to heat, cool down, try to heat up because it is cold. All right, guys, thanks to every single one of you guys for watching my video, for thumbsing up, leaving those comments. Thanks to all my channel members for all your monthly support. And of course, my supporters over on Patreon, you guys rock. If you like this video and you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're still hungry for more, check out that playlist I dumped down over there. And we'll see you over there, bring your hunger.